Welcome back, everybody. I'm Stan with the basement, continuing my playthrough of Soul Blazer. Fire guys, make my men. Uh, I'm just getting my ass beat. Yay, level up. Um, so yeah, continuing here. I uh, finished the first of the three pyramids, which, as you might have guessed, was water. Now I'm in the second, which is fire, and I released another mole. Which I was told to talk to all the moles. Oh, uh, taking damage. Kill you guys. Good lord. Just fucking up. Cool, run, quick, quick. <laughs> uh, uh, missed all that stuff. What did I unlock with this one? Released a squirrel. There's two of the three dancers. Or theater guys, or whatever they are. Alright, come across there. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a fun one. Anyway. It's nice to get back to these Super Nintendo games. Uh, the Super Nintendo, with the exception... Of good old Final Fantasy 3. Well, it will always be Final Fantasy 3 to me, but Final Fantasy 6 for you guys. Uh, the Super Nintendo was kind of sat unused for a while. Although, Mark and I do have, you know. Ooh, get off that. We do have some. some Mario's to do, so we'll be hitting Super Mario World on there. Uh, but yeah. Isn't it sweet, Jim? I don't need to go back, but maybe I will. Um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy the Super NES. It's one of those consoles that I have like very fond memories of. Any of you? No. Eh, pick. No, I didn't pick right. Dead ends, son of a gun. Go back down. We know it's not the middle one, so it must be the left one. <laughs> cool down. Thank you. Uh, more whiz robes. This game feels very Zelda. Uh, all in all. Which is probably part of the reason that I think it's, it's kind of cool. Because... I really love Zelda. Not quite as complex as Zelda. Uh, story might not be quite as... Ooh, almost, almost fucked up there. Uh, quite as intense as Zelda. Nonetheless. Very, uh... Ah, I made it. Oh, ran right into the metal dudes. Come on, Wizrobe. Suck my balls, Mr. Wizrobe. Um. Yeah, it. This this personifies all of my like. It this feels to me. This feels Super Nintendo, which kind of a weird statement, but I, I guess people kind of would understand. Like, anybody who's played Zelda, Super Nintendo has, like, that... God, I suck. That kind of feeling about it, where it's... Yay! The controls are crisp, graphics are good, the music's good. Run, 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 stop. And... Run, 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 stop. More metal guys. Trisha. 100 gems. Completely useless. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I guess just like that. 
assuming they want me to go up first. So I'm going left first. We're just going to keep going left. <clears throat> More magmen. Pew. Just like fire elementals. Yeah, it's just... I would bet that you see a lot more of me playing SNES games on the channel now for a while. Or at least another mole. Good lord. It's like four of them. But yeah, I, uh... It's definitely reminding me of the joys of the SNES, so... That's good. And I released a deer. Hi, Mr. Deer. And I can totally use the uh, mole tunnel to get out there. Mm, okay. Well, we're not going to go up there quite yet. Let's see what else is down here. Still two more enemies. And that's going to be for the scorpions. Treasure. 60 gems. And... See how badly I can botch this. Yep. Got greedy. Let's see what's up here. Hi, Mr. Scorpion. There it is. Don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> um. This SNES took such an interesting perspective on... Was, it was so different. There's a bird sleeping in front of Turbo's gravestone. Well, I know whose grave that is now. That's Turbo's grave. Uh, one which I can't get because it's these stupid scorpions. And we're just going to beeline that. How come I can make it that way, but I couldn't make it the other way? Lame. Uh... Now we're going to go through. And up. Oop, more fire guys. Pick up all these guys. Two left here. Oh, shortcut. This takes me back down into... Yep. That's just a shortcut. What's over here? That's how I get to that room. Simple enough. A squirrel! There's still that one there, which I can't get because I can't. And one there, but I can't get that because I can't beat the metal guys. Oh! Stan began to hear a small voice. We are rafts, made from branches of trees of Greenwood. If you cannot prove that you are from Greenwood, we'll not haul you. Alright, so I've got to go back and get some kind of proof that I do come from Greenwood. These guys up. Back through here. Now I've got a shortcut in here. Across here. And back out. Kind of the funk beat going on here, yeah. Bam, bam, ba -dam, ba -dam. I only took one hit, that's not terrible. Doesn't really matter. Yep, talk with the stump. Did that. Alright, talk to this one already. Yep. Yeah, because you can't move from this spot, I get it. Yep, one's called water, one's called fire. They're just called light. Done water and fire. Alright, did all that stuff. I'm Billy, leader of the Woodston Trio. I'm a member of the famous Woodston Trio. We usually have a variety show at the Cedar, but I'm missing my two sidekicks. You're only missing one of your sidekicks. Right, 
talk to you. Yep, squirrels have changed for I'm hungry. If you bring me something to eat, I'll trade you something. I don't have it yet. Maybe I get that. No, I don't remember. Gain my life back. Moho. Hi, Mr. Mole. Even though I don't look it, I'm from the sky just like you. I light up the darkness. You cheer up everyone. Let's work together to revive the world's creatures. Blah, blah, blah. Some bones down there, I'm assuming. Yeah, we'll just keep doing these. What about you? You must bring me something that was once belonged to Monmo. Not Momo. Monmo. Hey! I hear someone snoring, but I cannot tell who's making the noise. That's uh, the tree stump. I hear someone snoring, but I cannot tell who's making the noise. Dream rod time, baby. Place the dream rod upon the stump. Bow. Even though I'm only a stump in real life, I often dream that I'm a bird and can fly wherever I wish. I'm going back in. Bet you there's something the other way. Sure is. Whoop whoop. Can I get anything else? Nothing else. Yep. You're only a stump. Alright, so I unlocked that. I need to find something from Mon Mo for that dude. What about this? Hi, Mr. Mole. I'm always digging in the ground. Sometimes I dig up strange things. I dig, just dug up some dog bones to the southwest. It scared me. Uh, how do... Alright, I guess I gotta get over there. Which I have the crocodiles, so I should be able to. Let's see what these dogs at the, uh... Squirrel! I need to take a walk and walk up, work off some of this food. I thought... Why am I following? I didn't even know you were following me. I guess you kind of are. This is a restaurant. Would you like to see the menu? Yes, great. Let me tell you what our special today. You. I'm just kidding. Please don't be offended. This restaurant is famous for delicious fruit and something. I can tell what something is just by smell. Alright, let me start doing my job. <laughs> From that way, I smell fresh air. From that way, I smell a mole. What is that smell? I smell something strange coming from this way. Hi, Mr. Squirrel. Still following me? It's around here somewhere. I smell something really strange. Yep. There is an outhouse. Gross. Yeah, why are you following me? I know. Treasure. Ice armor. Well, I bet you that's better than iron armor. And you can cross fire without taking damage. Sweet. I wonder if there's like some kind of secret with the uh, squirrel that runs around. Turbo the dog used to live with a human named Dr. Leo. Turbo learned a great many things from him. Use branches from this tree. <laughs> Boo! Come on, aren't you surprised? Uh, well, I wasn't even looking at you, so no. If you help me cross the river, I'll give you something. How did you get over here in the first place? I was once made a raft made from my branches. The bark of my branches. Doesn't make any sense, but... Sure, I have to find a way to... There you are. No, I'm not surprised, because you didn't surprise me on the other way, and now I know you're there. Uh, who are you? Are you trying to walk over me? Fuck yes, I am. You have some nerve. Okay. I am guarding the graveyard. I hear someone snoring, but I can't tell which direction the sound is coming from. I'm going to assume this bird... Yep. The bird was snoring. Because I hit him with the dream rod. Oh, there we go. Turbo refused to give his life to the evil one, Death Toll. He fought Death Toll, trying to save Greenwood and all its animals. But he was defeated. 
stand, go to the Light Shrine, and release the Guardian of the Woods. You will find what you are looking for. There's a bird, Tiki, that may tell you how to use the raft. Okay. Turbo, wait! The rafts will only carry residents of Greenwood. Maybe if you bring something that used to belong to Turbo, they might help you. There are some leaves from Greenwood, buried with Turbo. Here lies Turbo. So... I open the path, so I can get to his grave. The leaves of Greenwood are found under dog bones. It's kind of disturbing, but okay. So... Dream rod, ice armor... Strange bottle. You'll not lose any gems should you reach your life meter reach. What? I don't know what that is. I'll keep that on. So I just get to keep gems. Whatever. Interesting item, though. Yeah, I already talked to Stumps. Listen carefully. Hmm. Uh, voice came from above. How can I help you? Record. Yes, record. Finish recording. Do you wish continue? Yes, I wish to continue. You're doing well. Do not give up. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. And I get to start halfway into it. Pick up some lizzies. Pew pew pews. No butterflies for you. I should have got hit there. Okay, I guess I did get hit there. Which one is it? Ping ping. Oh, it's this one. It was the one I was on. Hey, Raft. I brought you leaves. Those are leaves from Greenwood. Turbo symbol. We'll take you to the life drain. Alright, beat you down. This is going to be a maze. I don't remember if it's a maze or not. It wouldn't be surprising if it was. Stupid butterflies. Blobby blobs. Even simple stuff like that, like these. This is a sliding block puzzle. Like, you wouldn't get that in a modern game. It just doesn't happen. Which is sad, because it's a simple concept, but it's complex enough that it takes some thought. Hey, another mole! Simple enough that. It's easy to do, but complex enough that... Come on, blobby man. Complex enough that, uh... Just not anybody... Not any idiot. Well, you could stumble through it with enough time, but... For the most part, you really can't just, like... Bumble your way through it. Keep them blobby men coming. Yay! I did it! Ah, dogs! So there's all three. It's a squirrel, a dog, and a deer. Interesting. Alright, next platform. And... there I am. Welcome to the Light Shrine. Got weird laser laser disco stuff going on. There's gonna be a maze, is that what this is gonna be? I guess there wasn't a sliding puzzle, so get in. So it's gonna be a maze to get through here. Which whatever, so be it. Okay, spirits. Here? Nope. What right about up here? I'm pretty sure I'm way long in this episode, but whatever, we're gonna keep rolling. At least for a little bit. Ha! I just whiff on it or not kill it. Maybe they're just static lobbies? I don't know. 
Kill the wizard ropes again. <laughs> Him down. They just keep coming. I'm very, like, happy that, uh, right, that must be for metal enemies or something. Maybe I need the Zentetsu sword to kill those guys, or whatever it's called. I think it's called the Zentetsu sword, the second sword. Holy crap, I'm taking a beating. No, thank you. Um, and done. Alright. That opened up a whole lot of passageways there. That's the beginning. So I need to go this way. Uh, so much stuff. It's doing a pretty good job of keeping up there. It hasn't been a whole lot of slow down in this part. God, I'm almost dead already. Terrible. I still have the whole light shrine ahead of me. Then a boss. So let me tell you, I'm thoroughly looking forward to that. It's terrible. Well, I guess I beat the first boss in the second try. That's not bad. I should know it better than that, but don't. I haven't played the game in a long time, so... Good thing these guys don't shoot anything, because I would be boned. That guy. So is this shrunk? Yeah, level up. Thank God. Can I hit him? Right there. Beat these guys up. If they shot things, I'd pretty much be dead already, so... Fire guys down. Five more layers. Well, one I can't do. Four now. Fire guys up here. Boop! Another squirrel. Maybe that squirrel will give me the nut. I don't know. I thought I could have got it already, but evidently not. Down. Can I hit him with magic? Nope. No dice. What a drag. Got it. Some more, and some more, and some more. That's kind of lame. Like, it's not like it's bad control, it's just you don't snap to grid, which is probably a good thing, but. Alright, so it's just the one I couldn't get. And there's the mole who lights the way. Six monster layers in this area. This guy. Maybe one step closer to getting clear all the monster layers. It's over here. This is another thing that's like. It's not artificial difficulty, but at the same time, it's not hard. It's just like, you can only see this little part of the screen. Like those fireball guys and these torches should give off more light. Where there's larger squares of light surrounding them. And just the one little spot. But I get it. SNES. You have some limitations. A little tor torch dude circling you is got to be enough. Destroy a whole wall. Okay, nothing there. The fireball guy. So I obviously can go down here. Up there. Let's 
still five shrines on this floor. There's one. Kill all the whiz ropes from this one. I'm trying to remember what the boss of this stage is, and I don't even have a guess. Three elements, but yay! I can release the deer now because I got a crocodile. Maybe he'll give me an acorn. Anything else up here? It's not up here, so. shoot thing at me. Don't you go shooting that red shit at me. for me. Ooh, yep, stand right inside of him. You're brilliant, man. I am so good at this. Oh, sweet lord and baby Jesus. Get my hit points back. More ghosty heads. Come on. There we go. And that one that I can't get. Because I can't beat those guys. Oh, great. Boss fight time. When I come back in the next episode, I will fight the boss. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And we will see you all in the next episode. Later.